everyone today video is on Vue.js plugin like view 360 this view 360 library is used to display the 360 degrees image previewer in our application so as per as recording time of this video this view 360 is only supported by Vue.js second version so it won't support view 3 maybe it will be supported in the future releases so here we are going to create do a sample application to preview the 360 degrees image reviewer component in a Vue.js sec 2 application for that i have already created view 2 application here you can observe the version of of my application okay and i want to show one more thing this entire session has been made as blog nothing very simple blog one or two minutes to read this blog like an introduction blog what i am going to explain in this video about the u360 library also will be explained in the uh, everything is furnished into this blog if you want to go through the blog you can go through the blog the link will be available in the description under the video okay so this is my blog and let's jump into our uh, application so now the first step is we need to install the view 360 plugin for that let's open our command prompt terminal okay so let's install library plugin like npm install view 360 our library has been installed and its reference we can observe in dependency object okay so next thing is we need to have a collection of images that should be in a order of angle so that the plugin can be made a nice animation of 360 degree of the view of the image so we should have a collection of images with different different angles okay so i have down already uh, downloaded few images from the internet and i have made as a separate folder and i placed them inside of my <clears throat> public folder and inside of that i have created one more folder inside of it i have all created all the images see WebP means it is the latest format like PNG and JPG. You can have any of the format. I have downloaded images of the extension of WebP. Okay, so it doesn't matter any type of image you can use. So if I explore this folder, okay, so these are all my images. Okay, here I am going to display the 360 degrees view of the bike so we should have images like this with different angles and one more thing is that each image name should contain a number and that number should represent the order of the images so that library can automatically pick them and load them based on the images order and made a nice image 360 degree image rotation transition okay so this is about how the images should be displayed okay and this this folder i added in the public folder so that i can access them with the relative path in my application okay so now what we will do i am going to clear up the existing code of hello world view component okay so let's get rid of this existing card. I don't want any of these tilings. Just remove the props as well. Okay. And in the app view, let's remove this logo image. And now we don't have this prop. Okay. And one more thing is we don't need these tiles okay i have cleaned up my predefined template of the vue.js okay 
now the first step is we have already installed our view 360 library right we need to register it in main.js registering main.js means we can call it as global configuration what happens if we do global configuration the if you do global configuration the, any component that we registered in that main.js file will be automatically or directly accessed any of the tail components of our application okay any component like a parent or child components of our application so we no need to uh, explicitly register them on every component wherever it is used so global configuration is single time configuration okay so let's go to main.js okay so here let's import the from view 360 okay and we need to uh, inject this view 360 library component into our view application for that we can do like view dot use okay and just pass the view 360 component name okay and we need to do one more thing like we should have imported the view 360 css file into our main.js as well okay so for that you can go here and let's go to view 360 folder so this is the folder right here we need to import file like Instead of the dish CSS files dot CSS, okay. So let's import that file like import view three sixty slash dish slash CSS slash slash tile dot CSS, okay. <clears throat> now we have imported styles as well, okay. That is the uh, configuration step of view 360 library okay next next we need to also import uh, font awesome css file because this 360 view component will have some action buttons like playing the video clicking the next two images or dragging the image so all these action buttons need to be displayed so by default it uses font awesome icon for the for those action buttons so we need to add font awesome css file into our index.html file for that you can go and copy the link from official blog sorry official site since i have already added in my blog so i am copying from here <clears throat> so this need to be pasted on it okay just above the header tag just add it okay that is done so let's uh, import our view 360 sorry render our view 360 into our hello world component so that it can use the images that we have already created folder okay those images will be automatically load into the component and it will create a nice 360 degrees animation of the image viewer okay for that let me write here like view 360 okay this is the component there are for this view 360 component there are mainly three required uh, what you can say input properties okay that is like first one is like the amount okay this property will take the number and here we have to as a the total number of images count that are used to frame the 360 degree animation okay so what i am saying is 
so these are the, the images i want to create animation right i want to give the total number of images count okay since i have 16 images i am going to give that number so it should give the uh, integer value so i have made it as a dynamic property if you want to create a input property that also fine here okay and next property that is required is image path okay image path okay so coming to this image path in generally images can be loaded that those are exist within the application our images can be referenced from the another domains okay if you are loading the images from the another domains please enter full path of the image except the name of the path and also you should you don't have to specify tiling slash as well okay it is like a folder reference where it, it represents that URL represent like a folder representation. So for the third party image URLs, accept the image name you can specify here because image name will be specified in another property. So here we will specify only path only. Okay, but in this sample, I am I want to load the images that are within my application. So for that, what I will do, I will do like relative path like slash. Okay, those are inside in the public folder, and inside of that, I have one more folder, right? Like uh, here, no need of comma, like bike 360. So I can specify like folder name bike 360, and I shouldn't specify the slash as well. Okay, up to the root folder where uh, the images are relied are present, up to there, I can specify as a path. Okay. So that is about the image path. So on rendering the view 360 component, it will search for the images in the specified image path. Next property, like file name. Okay. So component must load collection of images, right? So here our uh, images name should be unique with, with a dynamic number inside of it. So if you observe my images, every image contains bike iPhone is a common name, but only difference is number to represent the uh, <clears throat> order of the images. Same number can be used to reference the images name dynamically. For that, what we can write is bike iPhone and my images format are WebP, right? So WebP. So here we need to load the number dynamically. For that, U360 context will provide as a property called index, which can able to append the numbers dynamically. So that all the images names, it can grab within the folder that we mentioned in the image path. So these are the three main compulsory the configured properties of the view 360 component okay so let's save and test once i think my application is up and running so localhost 8080 8080 see you can see here let me minimize it see my image is loaded and you can also observe here action buttons right these are the action buttons and these these action buttons are using font also awesome icons. So let me show you the magic. See here, I can able to rotate it. The nice 360 degree transmission, right? Right? Very nicely the framework has been built. So here we can use these uh, action buttons also. See, I'm going to play the animation. Again, I am playing. How nice it is. We can zoom it. The image. See, with zoom, it is rotating. And we can zoom out the image. Okay. And we can 
here we are rotating right we can drag with 360 degree image as well see like this and <clears throat> okay and see we can see the frame by frame images by clicking next and previous buttons and we can reset the image rotation as well so these are the action buttons and we can see the 360 rotation and the play button so the nice plugin has been available to us to integrate in Vue.js application for 360 degree image rotation so that much simple to integrate this <clears throat> Vue.js uh, view 360 library plugin there are also few additional properties like uh, uh, what i can say uh, there is a property like loop how many number of times our image should be rotate in 360 degrees currently by default it will rotate only one time see here it, it will stop right now i am specifying like three times now it can rotate for three times Let's play the button. See one, two, and three. Okay, like that we can configure, and we can also add one uh, box shadow property, which will uh, appear as a block of wall as a background to it. So let's configure it. Box shadow. Okay, by default it value is false. Let's make it true. <clears throat> see here nice background we have observing right so this nice white uh, wall background appeared because of the box set okay and uh, there are a lot more things like uh, can show you here in my blog like spin reverse we can reverse the spin order okay that also we can see first observe the current spin so this is rotating from right to left right now it will rotate from left to right on spin reverse if i enable true so let's enable true so let's spin it again it should uh, rotate from left to right so like that you can play with additional properties something like you can change the button class method padding disabling zoom scroll images and everything can be do so this is very simple integrated component for 360 degree image previewer in vue.js application but only drawback is it is currently not supported view 3 but there are a lot of view two applications those can easily integrate this view 360 library okay okay that's it guys about this library i think this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel soon i will meet you again with a new video until then signing off